Hi, my name is Fana. In this video, I'll be showing you everything you need to know about magic penetration, how magic resistance works, and some examples to top it off. Here we are in patch 10.17. Karma's Q deals 90 magic damage at rank 1. The target dummy currently has 0 MR, so Karma deals the full 90 magic damage. Now let's give the target dummy 100 MR, which means it's reducing the magic damage that it takes by 50%. As you can see, Carbus Q has only dealt 45 damage, only half the damage she normally does. The formula for calculating damage reduction from your MR is as follows. Your MR divided by 100 plus your MR. So let's see an example. If a target dummy has 150 MR and we put that value into the formula, we get these nuts. <laughs> Got it. We actually get 60% damage reduction, which means Karma deals 36 magic damage. As you may already know, there are two types of magic penetration in the game. Flat magic penetration and percent magic penetration. Flat magic penetration gives you the amount of magic penetration that lists on the item. For example, both Morellos and Sorcerer's Shoes are flat magic penetration items. Whereas Void Staff is a percent magic penetration item. It gives you magic penetration based on the enemy's magic resistance. First, let's take a look at how flat magic penetration interacts with enemies with different magic resistance values. This target dummy currently has 50 magic resistance, so we reduce his magic damage taken by roughly 33%. So Karma should deal something close to 59.4 magic damage, depending on how the game rounds out numbers. But if Karma buys Sorcerer's Shoes, which gives her 18 magic penetration, her damage increases. The target dummy's magic resistance is reduced by the value of Karma's magic penetration, which means the target dummy only has 50 minus 18 equals 32 magic resistance when calculating damage taken from Karma. This makes the target dummy reduce Karma's magic damage by roughly 24% instead of 33%. With 18 magic penetration, Karma is able to deal 67.5 magic damage, so Sorcerer's Shoes increased Karma's damage by 8 without providing any ability power. Here's the same comparison of different magic resistance values. We can clearly see that the 18 magic penetration that Sorcerer's Shoes provides is less effective towards enemies with more magic resistance, since the reduced 18 magic resistance will be a smaller percentage of the enemy's total magic resistance. Now let's do a different test, where we compare Karma's damage when she has Void Staff which provides her 40% magic penetration and 70 ability power. As Void Staff gives her ability power, we will need a control group that has the same amount of ability power without providing any magic penetration. With 70 ability power, Karma's Q at rank 1 deals 90 plus 70 times 0.4 equals 118 magic damage. Void Staff's 40% magic penetration will remove 40% of the enemy's magic resistance, so the target dummy with 100 magic resistance will only have 60 magic resistance towards Karma. Without Void Staff's magic penetration, Karma deals only 59 magic damage towards the target dummy. With Void Staff's magic penetration, Karma deals 74 magic damage, since the target dummy only reduces 37.5 of magic damage with 60 magic resistance. Here's a chart with all of the magic resistance values. Now on to some spicier stuff. When you buy both flat magic penetration and percent magic penetration, what happens then? How is it calculated? Well, first off, percent magic penetration is reduced from the original magic resistance, and then the flat magic penetration is deducted from the new magic resistance value. So building both types of magic penetration is really good. We already know that flat magic pen is really good against low magic resistance values. So when the percent magic pen reduces the enemy's magic resistance to the sweet spot for flat magic penetration, you gain an absurd amount of damage. <laughs> yeah, boy. Here's a chart from the wiki page on magic penetration. Credit to Tristan Broads123. As you can see, in all of the functions that include Void Staff, the percent damage increase of course keeps going up, 
but there's a sweet spot in all three of them. Keep in mind that this percent damage increase is relative to having no magic penetration, and what we're looking for here is the highest actual damage and not relative percentage increase. So the spots where growth abruptly stops is where you're going to see the highest numerical values in terms of damage you deal. So the sweet spot is about 35 magic resistance for Morella plus Void Staff, which is the orange line, and only 3 magic resistance higher with Sorcerer plus Void Staff, which is Cyan. And lastly, all three of them combined, which is at about 65 magic resistance, and that's the purple one. I'm not saying base your build off of these functions, since there's a lot better items for the early game and it's unlogical to favor getting optimal magic penetration over Ludens or Ar Archangel staff since they provide other crucial stats other than magic penetration. You thought you were done with the interactions, but just one more thing. There's also some champions that reduce the enemy's magic resistance, not just for themselves, but for everyone else on your team. That means magic reduction abilities actually affect the number you see on the character window. For example, Karthus's wall, Hale's Q, and Mordecai's ultimate all reduce the opponent's magic resistance for everyone to see. The magic penetration that you have also works with items, which means you're going to deal more damage with items like Gwinsu's, Nashers, and Leandri's. This is why we saw Void Staff as a common item for Kaiza when her 8P build was meta, because she had a lot of consistent magic damage from her passives and are on hit items. Just do keep in mind, and currently this only affects Mordekaiser as he's the only champion in the league that has percent magic penetration built into his kit. For some reason, this percent magic penetration on his E is prioritized over Void Staff, so instead of adding 15% to Void Staff's 40%, they stack multiplicatively, so they won't give you 55% magic penetration. Instead, it does the 15% first, and then Void Staff reduces 40% of 85% which means he only gets 49% magic penetration. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you in any way, please consider liking and subscribing. Good luck on the rift.